open the front door but close the back door. This is good. But better it could be to open the front door, to open the back door, to open the windows, to open everything. And just sometimes we need just to break the walls and open the church for the people out there to come. I have a Bible study with my friend. But if you can have two, it's better than one. May you join us in our Bible study. We are going to do something good here. May you come. We do Bible study with two. Look at this hands of Jeremy. May you come, please. Another one. We have only one here. This is mathematic. Find this handsome black. May you come, man. Look at this. How many people we may baptize from this Bible study? Now let me find a French guy. Monsieur, may you? Come over here. This work for all cultures and people. Everybody loves to be loved. But let me have a Korean. Ah, you, you knew what was coming. Yeah, he's a voluntary Bible student. <laughs> <laughs> Now, how many baptismal people? At least six. Six? six. We need a Filipino. Oh, yes, a Filipino here. Come on here. One, two, three, four. Then we need a Hispanic. Come on here. <laughs> now we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many baptismals? Eight. Eight. We need a lady here. <laughs> you got one. <laughs> we have a lady here. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But well, we need a European guy here. Come over here. And now we have how many? Ten. Ten. Let me pick this guy here. Um, this other guy here. So we have twelve. Okay. When we do a small groups, we do not add. We multiply. This is probably Jesus. He say yes, I baptize one. Have me. But if I ask to the 12 of my disciples in my group, do you accept Jesus? How many of you love Jesus and would like to be saved and would like to be in the kingdom? How many of you? Raise your hand. Oh, yes. okay. 12, all right. I have 12 baptisms now. Right. He called 12. For the reason I'm following that system. My small groups, I try to have 12. In my small groups, I have what I call, you will see in the book, the empty chair. So we pray for the empty chair. The Lord sent me a Costa Rican. Deserve the love is the best. <laughs> <laughs> so we have an empty chair and we fill an empty chair every week. We fill this empty chair. What do we do for next week? Another empty chair. We are calling Costa Rican. You see? Now it's time to multiply. And we multiply the groups. But what happened when we have 24? We select a new leader and we send that leader to meet in another house, another home. We need to bring the people from the street. Try it. And you will see the difference in your ministry. When I was asking the president for the guy, he told me he is very good doing small groups. <laughs> no, no, no. Every week we add an empty chair and challenge the people to bring somebody. The husband, the wife of the members of the church who are not members of the church. The uncle, the grandpa, the friend, the co-worker, the, the, the student, fellow students, the friends of the people of the church. They are not members of the church. They, they are not baptized of the church, but they are people connected to the church in some way. By the 14th month, we have 100 and. 25 members in town. My people work. They learn how to do small groups. Honestly, I believe some of you are more capable to do things than me. But humbly, I just asking you to do this. Today, we have a good meeting with the pastors talking about Impact 2014. We pray, we are encouraging all the pastors to preach to encourage the members, the lay members to preach in April in every church. This is something special this year, Impact 2014.